guys welcome back to my channel I'm Jasmine and today's video is going to be all about c-sections and vaginal births I'm gonna be giving you guys my 100% total honest feelings about having to have a c-section and a vaginal birth um, throughout my pregnancies so if you're interested in seeing that then of course just keep watching so um, and sorry if the lighting is a little bit different I'm in my living room and it's like super gloomy outside it's been raining for the last couple days so I'm sorry about that but I'm, I'm looking down because my I have everything written down in my phone so yeah I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna be talking about vaginal births first and giving you a few pros that that come from vaginal birth delivery and then I'm gonna give you some cons and then I'm gonna do the same thing with having a c-section so first thing that I want to say is when you have a vaginal birth you're gonna have a quicker recovery obviously if you have to have a c-section that's a major major surgery and you're gonna to have to at least stay in the hospital three days and then depending on complications and how well you're healing up it might even be longer than that um, so for a good estimate for me at least it's it, once you hit your one month postpartum mark I want to say you're gonna start feeling a little bit better and start feeling like your old self so vaginal births you know it's just like you're in labor for however long and then you have your baby you basically healed up I mean unless you tear and or if you have um, like loss of blood or depending on how hard your vaginal birth is then you might have a little bit more recovery to do but for me I had two vaginal births and first of all they send you home the next day or the day after that so you're home within two days and then you're able to walk around you're able to do everything that you used to do before Another thing is, I feel like with a vaginal birth, it's a great bonding experience. It's a great bonding experience, in my opinion. I enjoy, not in the moment, obviously, but I, you know, going through the labor and the contractions and the pain, you know, you just feel like all of that is worth it once your baby is here. So it's just like when you're going through those, when I'm going, when I was in labor, going through the contractions and all of that, it just made me feel like closer to my child but that's just me that's just my opinion so and also once the baby um you know goes through your birthing canal and comes out that feeling is amazing and when you finally get to push your baby out and hold your baby it's just like amazing so i feel like it's just such a great bonding experience um another pro that i feel like comes with having a vaginal birth is that you won't need as much medicine again depending on how hard your vaginal birth was um you might have to have a little bit more medicine but with me the first time i had a vaginal birth a vaginal delivery i did tear and i did get an episiotomy so i was sore and i did have some stronger medicine but it wasn't as much as i did after i had my c-section now that's the only time i had medicine after having a vaginal birth with my son i didn't need any so another thing is that you get to go home a lot quicker when you have a vaginal birth so once you have a vaginal birth you know you get to the hospital and you're in labor for however long and then you pretty much get to go home the next day or the day after that so you don't have to stay in the hospital you don't have to lay in that bed you don't have to smell the hospital smell like hospital use hospital stuff because they charge you for everything you get to go home and be in the comfort of your own home Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys what I feel like are cons about having vaginal births. Yes, I do feel like there are cons. First one is you may experience tearing down there and your girl, your girl down there might tear a little bit. And that's not very fun. Um, with my daughter, I did get an episiotomy to help her come out easier. The doctor did cut like the area between your butt and your JJ, I believe that's what it is. And then um, she actually tore me a little bit while she was coming out. Um, so that's one of the things that kind of suck about having a vaginal birth. Um, but that's basically it for me that I could think of. Um, another thing that is the contractions are hell, you guys. Like contractions aren't fun, why would they be? Um, but like I said, I don't know it's worth it to me um, you'll have you might have a lot more bleeding after you have your baby I remember the first two times I had a vaginal um, birth it's like as soon as you stand up all the blood just kind of you know comes out because hello it's just like gravity um, making it do that so I feel like your period and your afterbirth bleeding is going to be a lot heavier at least for me it was um, than when you have a c-section 
Um, another con is that you have to might you might have to wait a little bit longer before you can resume intercourse. I know a lot of you are thinking, why would you even be thinking about intercourse after just having a baby? But if you're married like me, or if you have like a boyfriend or something who has waited, you know, you know, who's waited who knows when since the last time you guys were intimate and he misses you, he feels like you being a new mom again is sexy and it just makes him more attracted to you. So when you have a vaginal birth, if it's depending on, like I said, how you heal up and how your body is, it might take a longer time. It might take longer for you to be able to resume sexual activity. With my first two vaginal births, I waited at least four to five weeks before I started back, um, you know, having intercourse. But it just, it's up to you. It's up to your body and it's up to whenever you feel comfortable. Another, another con that I could think of is that you might swell down there from pushing depending on how long you pushed. And that's, you know, might make you feel um, like insecure. I don't know. It just, nobody wants a swollen vajayjay. Long to C-sections. I would have to say a pro right away is, this didn't happen to me, but a pro could be um, you're scheduled and you know when you're going to have your C-section and it's a lot quicker than going in and being in labor all day. So you're going to know, the doctor's going to schedule you for your C-section. You're going to know what time you're supposed to be there and the baby is probably going to be out within and you're going to be done, healed, sewed up within two hours. So that's a very good pro because you're not going to be waiting all day. If you're half, if you have family members coming in from out of town, they're going to know. Um, you can kind of tell them when they should be there and they won't have to just wait all day like they did with me. I figured was a pro is that it's a quicker labor process. So it's planned. You're going to know when your baby's going to arrive and you're not going to have the stress and the um, agony of waiting for your baby to come. So for me, another thing that I actually liked about having a C-section is that the bleeding is a lot less. The doctor actually told me that when you have a C-section and when he's inside of your stomach, he actually scrapes or sucks out a lot of the blood. So the doctor actually told me when you have a C-section that when he's inside of your stomach, he's actually going to like um, suction out a lot of the blood from your uterus, I guess is what he what he did and so you're gonna have a lot less bleeding um i remember <clears throat> after i had my c-section you know i'm in the recovery room all they did was i didn't have on any panties or like any pants or anything i just had on a hospital gown and they stuck like an ice pack and a pad down there and when i got up no blood dripped down or anything um, and there was just like very little blood you know in the pad so automatically i was like huh they didn't i didn't you know, I didn't see blood or anything, and it was because um, he, you know, cleans out your uterus as much as he can. Um, you're going to still bleed a little bit, but it's a lot better than when you have a vaginal birth. Another pro about having a C-section is that nothing is coming out of your vagina. So the recovery down there is going to be a lot quicker. Now with me, I did push for an hour before actually having to have a C-section. So I was swollen. I was pretty swollen for a couple of days. But besides that, like... My girl was all good. I was actually happy about that because nothing came out. It was still looked like it should have looked. And also with having intercourse, it helps for you know you to be able to ease back into it without feeling scared. So that's a pro about having a C-section, I feel like, as well. In my opinion, I do not recommend a C-section. And when I say that I don't recommend it, I mean I don't recommend it in a way as to where it's like an option because I know some people have to have a c-section and c-sections are fine if if it's an emergency if you want to save your baby if it's life-threatening then you know a c-section is what you have to do but for me it was not an emergency c-section I just did not want to push anymore and it was kind of just like I'm tired just take the baby get the baby out make sure everything is good so, but I definitely would not go through a C-section again. Like, I don't do pain. I don't do um, stitches and all that stuff. I had two natural births. They were amazing. So, that's just my, my feelings. So, yeah. Some cons about having a C-section. I definitely would say it's the recovery time. You're going to be in the hospital for three days right off the bat. And then if it might be a little bit longer if you have... Um, you know, a harder time healing. You have to use the bathroom before you have a C-section and you're going to be scared because you might not want to push and apply pressure um, to poop. So that's a con. Another thing that I can say is that the experience between you and your baby and if you have other children is not going to be 
as easy. Um, for me, the baby um, was in the room with me pretty much the entire time. I, they give you, you know, the little thing that the baby lays in, the little crib, bassinet type of hospital thing. That, um, once I picked her up, if I was alone, because my husband, a lot of times, he would just, um, I told him to go home with the kids. I'm fine. You know, we've been through this three times now. I'm not going to cry if my husband's not there with me all throughout the day. So a lot of the times, it was just about me by myself, and I had the baby. So if I had her picked up, um, you know, laying in the, in the bed with me in my arms, I couldn't get back up and down to put her back in her bassinet. So, you know, I held her a lot while I was in the hospital, and... Sometimes, you know, when I needed to do something, if she was in her bed or if she started to cry, I couldn't get to her as quick because I was scared to get up, honestly. There might be people who move around easier, but I was so scared. I was scared to get up after having my C-section. So that's a con, is that you can't really interact with your baby or your other children as easily. If you guys know, I do have a toddler. He is almost two. He'll be two next month. And then I have a five-year-old. The five-year-old, you know, I don't really pick her up too much, too often. She kind of knows her way around and she can be a little bit independent and help me out. But my son, I was told I cannot lift him. I cannot pick him up. I just cannot interact with him. And he didn't understand that. So only a con to me. Um, not being able to interact with my kids as well as I could have if if I had a vaginal birth and it was kind of very overwhelming for me knowing that I couldn't move around as quick I couldn't walk fast I couldn't do anything I couldn't shower I couldn't lift my leg up um, I barely could lift my leg up to get in the bath my husband had to bath me he was so helpful you guys so that's a con a big con to me um, another con that I can think of about having a c-section is um, you know, just the recovery time in general. I felt so sad and defeated knowing that I had to have a C-section after having these great vaginal births because I couldn't get around and do the things that I wanted to do. It didn't. It took about a month for me to start feeling myself. I'm almost at my six-week mark, so I'm back to feeling, you know, like Jasmine again. I'm able to do a little bit more around the house. Um, the first week, my kids were at a family member's house just because they were you know, looking out for them while I was trying to recover. Um, so I'm thankful for that. But it's definitely the main thing I would say I hate about the C-section is the recovery time. And if you have other kids and you have, you know, a husband who works and you don't have family near you, and it's just it just makes life a lot harder. The last thing I'm going to say is C-sections are painful, you know. And not so much as you feel pain down there uh, after having it because I had a lot of medicine which is another con um, if you don't want to take a lot of medicine you, you kind of have to um, unless you're good with pain but uh, the recovery time is just long and it's just it's just a lot so yeah guys those are my thoughts on vaginal births and c-sections I don't do well with pain so I would definitely I wish I could have had another natural birth I felt defeated but you know what in the end I'm just blessed and I'm grateful that I have three healthy beautiful children and I was able to experience you know having a vaginal birth and having a c-section so I can kind of share my experiences with others and yeah I'm done having kids you guys I got my tubes tied and I don't feel bad about it I'm just happy that I'm healthy my kid and my, my kids and my family are healthy so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't all over the place too much and I hope you enjoyed it so give me a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you have about having a vaginal birth or a c-section and I will be happy to answer them so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later bye